On a hot summer afternoon, Lee Wan Wai weaves quickly through the lunchtime crowds in Central. He tells me he's searching for treasure. Downloaded onto the GPS device on his mobile phone are coordinates that will help him locate a hidden box called a geocache. Lee makes his way through IFC Mall toward the outlying ferry piers, following the blue line on the receiver. That shows the distance and direction from his current location to the cache. His excitement grows as he realizes he's almost on top of the box, and eventually he finds it. <laughs> Joe caching is a game and a sport that allows people to go find something hidden anywhere in the world. Um, with a GPS and of course with a bit of adventure in a sense of open-heartedness. Catching in Hong Kong is not very popular uh, at this moment. Only a couple of players are, are in Hong Kong actually. What's special in Hong Kong is that uh, the countryside and the country parks are just very close to the urban area in Hong Kong. So uh, it's re really uh, challenging and you, take, you have to do some hiking to go to some places high in the mountains to get some uh, really close, uh, close to the hotel maybe, but uh, it, it really needs some time to get there. And in any geocaches, you, you uh, must have a logbook. You have to sign your name, and if it's a large uh, cache, you can place a logbook. There's a regular notebook there, and you can write your, what, what your feelings are, a point of finding uh, uh, the cache. And it depends on the size, but in this case, it's quite small and you really cannot place uh, any large items inside. So, um, but in the, especially in the countryside, you can place a really large box. It's as large as a, like a, maybe as large as a, the trash tape. Sometimes we get some interesting items like this. It's called a geo coin. It's special items, not for you to uh, keep it. It's meant to travel around the world. We take it and place it in, in an, another cache and travels along with the geocaches. And some geocaching fans actually do that, make their own item. It's a, called a signature item. This one I just bought from uh, Seattle. Sometimes you cannot find, but this is joy in the process. You can enjoy the view even if you, you don't find you didn't find the cache today. For the South China Morning Post, this is Charmaine Kabale.